Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another show and um, it's actually Christmas Day and uh, we already drank all the wine so I was gonna have more wine so I figured I'd do a review real quick this is obviously Monday's show so um, today's wine is the 2005 Peruso Barolo it is their 35th anniversary edition uh, got this from Cinderella wine for $27.77 and um, it's a pretty good deal because they it normally retails for well a wine library normally retails for thirty nine ninety eight and its suggested retail price is fifty one ninety eight so getting some for almost half off here um, now this is a Barolo and uh, first time I've ever had a Barolo it's one hundred percent Nebbiolo as far as the varietal and uh, it should pair well with the pot roast we're having here. And uh, first time I've ever had a Barolo. If you uh, have been watching Sommelier School, you'll know that Barolos are from the Piedmont region of Italy. And these are usually pretty big, bold wines and usually are not cheap. I mean, $27, $28 is not, is not cheap by any means, but 52 bucks. Yeah, that's why I bought it, because if I'm going to have a chance to drink a $50 bottle of wine for half price, why not? All right, so let's check it out. Pretty light on the nose. Getting some kind of floral elements and some light fruit. Really just kind of try to aerate this thing. This is pretty tasty. I was actually kind of worried it was going to be really, really heavily tannic. Uh, I thought it was going to be very overpowering as a wine itself because everything I've read about Barolos is a really big, bold uh, bottles of wine. But it's four years old. It uh, ages for two, two years for 24 months in oak and then another 12 months of fining, which they just means they try to get all the sediment out. It's, it's got those light fruits. I'm getting kind of a kind of a leathery feel from it. A little earthy. Um, and to be honest, there's a little bit of kind of a little bit of sweetness to it. So um, I think it will go really well. Let's do a, go ahead and pour a little more. Have a little bit of the uh, the beef here because this should go pretty well with everything. It's a good mixture with the meat. Um, the gravy is a little salty. Um, that was that came from that came from the pot roast itself. But um, the the wine interacts with the beef and the and the gravy very well. Um, like I said, there's, there seems to be a little bit of sweetness to it, and it kind of counteracts that saltiness. So um, I'm pretty impressed with it. The the tannins aren't very very heavy. It's they're pretty medium tannins. Um, according to the reviews, it says that um, it will mature within like around 2011, 
Let's see, one of these reviews said matures 2011 to something else. But this is a wine that, oh, 2011 to 2020 would be its maturity. So these are wines that you normally save. Like, even at, 2000, even at four years later, you normally wouldn't be drinking these wines. But this is pretty approachable to me. Um, all these wine experts are rating it 90 to 92 points. I don't think I'd go, I don't know, maybe I, maybe I would go as high as 92. This is really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of split the difference and go 91 with it. Um, if you can find this wine for what I paid for it, I'd definitely buy it. Um, I don't know if I paid, well, $52 is probably worth $52 to people that really enjoy Barolos. And I really enjoy this wine, but uh, I'm not somebody that really likes to go out and spend 50 bucks. <laughs> 50 bucks on wine. That wasn't me, by the way. That would be Finny Crumbs dropping his uh, knife. Anyway, um, <laughs> always making appearances in the background. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Um, just want to thank everybody. I hope you're all having a great Christmas or had a great Christmas. Uh, have a safe New Year's. Uh, I don't know what I'll do for New Year's. Uh, I thought about getting like a prosecco and a cava. These are you know sparkling wines that are usually very inexpensive. So we're not gonna be going out buying thirty dollar bottles of champagne. Um, you can usually get proseccos and cavas for twenty bucks and under. Um, so not sure if I'm gonna do that or not, or just just do a regular wine review for New Year's Eve. Because everybody else is doing sparkling wine for New Year's Eve, so I got to be different. Um, as always, you know, got all the links. Working on new stuff on the site. Uh, you'll notice also up top uh, talks about the executive producer credit. So as you see, the credits just say if you want to be an executive producer, check out the check out the website. And if you are watching this other than the website, come by. Come by the website. Check it out. Uh, got all of the episodes there. We have Sommelier School. Not all the Sommelier School episodes are up on my Blip TV player. Uh, the first 15 of them are elsewhere. And I'll probably create a new account on Blip TV for just Sommelier School so that uh, I don't have it sent out to my iTunes podcast. So if you uh, subscribe to the iTunes podcast, there's also a link hit, link over here to click on the button. You can go open up iTunes to, to subscribe to the podcast. Um, you can um, uh, watch all the episodes. There's a few sommelier episodes on there, sommelier school lessons on there. Uh, so it looks like I'm probably going to stick with Blip TV just because things are just working out pretty well for them and uh, or with them. And uh, I'm kind of enjoying working with them. Um, and also, big ups to uh, Tube Mogul uh, for helping, helping me out. They increased my upload limit from 300 megabytes to 500 megabytes. Um, at no charge. So you'll see there's a two mogul, uh, two mogul um, uh, logo over here to the left. I'm sorry, to the right. And um, uh, click on them, check them out. It's a great way to distribute your videos to a bunch of places. So if you're doing stuff like I'm doing, I highly recommend them. And I highly recommend Blip.TV. Um, you know, they, they've also got some distribution aspects. And these guys have been really great the past couple months. So it looks like I'll be migrating to uh, Blip TV as my player, and uh, that's going to be it. We'll see everybody again on Wednesday.